Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done and today I am sharing a tool that helps me deal with my anxiety. Gonna love you honey, on and on and on. I'm a morning dove singing out a song. Hello, welcome if you are new to my channel. I'm Danielle and I have dealt with anxiety my entire life and didn't really realize it until it progressed after the birth of my son and I ended up in the ER one day because I thought I was dying <laughs> and it turned out it was a panic attack. Um, so I've been really, really dealing with it in an intense way for the last five years. Lots of panic attacks, lots of anxiety. And I've done a lot of research, read a lot of books, and I've kind of distilled everything that I've learned into one little worksheet that I call my anxiety survival kit that has really helped me. So I thought I'd share it with you today, and this will be available to download at the description box for details. So again, I call this my anxiety survival kit, and the first section is called brain dump, what is stressing me out? And here I just vomit <laughs> out all my worries, whatever comes out, I write down, I don't think about it. So last week or a couple weeks ago, I had a panic attack. My son has um, anxiety as well and ADHD and sensory issues, we're pretty sure, and he is five and in preschool. And he has a lot of trouble at preschool and he was sent home in the middle of the day a couple weeks ago um, for some behavioral issues so i had to pick him up and that is a trigger for me i'm just i'm worried you know <laughs> that he's not okay i want him to be okay i want him to succeed i want him to be um successful and it's stressful when I have to leave work to pick him up and it just spirals me into panic mode. So um, I will read to you my brain dump. I feel like I'm having a major panic attack. My body feels out of control. I'm dizzy. I'm hot and cold. I'm hot and cold. I just feel panicked. James got sent home from school and I'm so worried about him. Is he going to be okay? Are we gonna get kicked out of the daycare? Am I a bad mom? Then I have the to-do list section. So it's a little like brain dumping, just write down all the things that I need to do. And three of them are defaulted and those are breathe, which we all breathe all the time, but I, when we're in panic mode, we're not breathing deeply. Our breath is shallow and that does nothing but put us more into an anxious frame. So I sit down, I set a timer for five minutes. My favorite station on Pandora is called Yoga Sanctuary and I just breathe. And I try my best not to think of anything else, which is pretty much 100% impossible during a panic attack, but you don't have to be perfect, just try your best. And something I recently heard that helped me, it, there's a document, there's a documentary, that's what it's called on Netflix right now, about meditation. Just Google or Netflix search meditation and you'll find it. I, it might be called meditation, it's really interesting. And one of the persons said, I could sit in front of the ocean for two hours and just watch the waves come in and go out. And I think most of us can relate to that. It's so peaceful and you kind of just get mesmerized. Kind of like something else, if you haven't been to the ocean, is a bonfire. You kind of just get into a zone watching the fire burn. And he said, back to the ocean metaphor, um, now that I've been practicing meditation, I feel the same way about my breath. Like I could just sit and watch my breath for hours. And that for some reason has been really helpful for me. I kind of close my eyes and imagine my breath as the ocean waves and just watch it. And 
I don't know why, but it makes me smile when I think about it like that. Like I just get a sense of gratitude for my life and for my breathing body. And I don't know, it's been helpful for me. So maybe give it a try. Secondly, what I put on default is to drink water and eat. Uh, dehydration is something that can send you into a panic mode. So you need to be hydrated. And then I put eat. When I have a panic attack, I am not hungry at all. Like eating is the last thing I want to do, but I need to eat. So I, I don't really believe in forcing yourself to eat. But during a panic attack or an anxious moment, I do. I force myself to eat something, hopefully something that's nutritionally dense. And then move, go for a walk, just kind of walk around and continue that deep breathing. And then I have different boxes to write in. So on this particular day, my house was also a mess and that is something that stresses me out. <laughs> so. I wanted to do laundry, clean the kitchen, email James's therapist to tell her what happened and I knew that she would give some um, words of advice back on what we could do. And then James has a special book about some behavior issues that are unique to him. Actually, his therapist made it, like it has his picture in the book, it's really cool. So after I calmed down, I plan to read that to him and I thought that would help me and him kind of deal with the situation. Um, and then the next section that I do is called the positive affirmations section. So this is where I see it that you would write positive affirmations and kind of more rational thoughts. Panic attacks and anxiety all deal with irrational thoughts. Um, I, I feel like I'm going to die. You're not gonna die, but it's, it's irrational and it feels so real. So I want a section to write positive affirmations and kind of switch my brain into thinking more rationally again. So in this example, I wrote, this is a panic attack and you've had dozens and you are always okay. Embrace it, breathe, and it will pass. James is fine. This has also happened before where he's been sent home and he's always okay. You are an amazing mom and you are doing everything you can for him. He is an amazing human being and it's going to be okay. So that almost makes me cry now. And then I write that and then I tackle my to-do list and check them off. I, for some reason, didn't check them off, but you know, it's very empowering to do that. And then I really like this section, which I honestly haven't seen on a lot of worksheets like this. I'm kind of proud of my contribution to it, but I call it a what worked well. And to me, it's a debrief. So you only do this when it totally passed and you feel really calm. And I think it's important to debrief and to think, you know, what really helped me calm down? what worked well and the reason I like this is I like to keep these and look them over and maybe during another panic attack I'll pull this out and read the what worked well because we need to learn from our history we need to learn our patterns that help us calm down and that is how we get better at this stuff and so what worked well for me on this occasion was embracing the panic. I really believe you just need to embrace it and the more you fight it, the more intense it will be. So just welcome it in and know it's gonna pass. So that was helpful for me in this situation. What also worked well is knowing that James is fine. So kind of that rational journaling. Cleaning helped me. It's something to do. I'm walking around and breathing and a clean house makes me way less stressed than a messy house. So that helped me. And then lastly, my husband helps me so much during these things. So I just talk to him and he can help me feel safe and calm like no other. So talking to my husband, Philip, helped as well. 
So I hope you find this helpful. Again, this will be in the description box, a link on how you can get your own copy. If you do and you do use it, I'd love for you to reach out and tell me what you thought and how it worked. Um, leave a comment below about it. Reach out to me on Instagram and send me a DM. I'd love all of you to reach out to me on Instagram. It's at Danielle Gets It Done. And I would love to connect with you there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new. And whatever your plans are today, I hope you get them done. Bye, guys. Ooh.